Dr. Yates, I'm in Chicago, and today we're gonna to talk about something that everybody wants to know about, micropigmentation. This is Lida, and this is Robin, my head nurse, and what we're gonna to explain to you is why micropigmentation is so good. A lot of people, we've seen a lot of people on TV with micropigmentation, and people don't even know what it is, and we do it every day. Would you say we're experts, Lida? We're experts. Why is we that? We do a lot of repair work for people that have had things done at other places. They come here, we ex we are experts in doing corrective coloring, um, removing pigment, toning pigment. We've been doing this now how many years? Uh, five years. At least five years. And, and actually we started, we're a hair transplant facility. We've been doing hair restoration for about 10 to 15 years, is that correct? That's right. And the reason we started micropigmentation was because we found it, it's kind of like an added benefit to make the hair transplants look better. But there's a trick to it. Everyone can't do it. You can't go to your tattoo parlor and have somebody just shade in here because it's going to look like a Sharpie. So we're going to walk you through it step by step and show you the way we do it. But first, one thing, I want to walk over to the board, if that's okay. We can go over to the blackboard here. And I want to introduce you to my friend Vic, Vic's going to be our patient today. He's an excellent patient and I'm going to explain to you why. I'm not going to tell you, no spoiler alert. He's just, if you just look here, this is what we look to say, wow, we're going to hit this out of the park. You know, at a minimum, when we do these, we hit a strong triple, but today we're going to hit a home run, okay? And we're going to show you how. The reason you do micropigmentation is for two things. For background, like say if somebody has hair and you just want to increase the illusion of density, you do it for background. And two, you do it for coverage. Coverage means that say you don't have enough donor hair to build the house you want to build. So we use micropigmentation to kind of lay the foundation to replace that donor hair, but it has to be done well so it looks believable. Uh, and, and everybody's seen somebody with micropigmentation where it looks blue, purple, green, red, or some color found not in nature, but we're gonna show you what we do today. So just sit back, relax, give us a, maybe, we're gonna condense this down to 20 minutes and we'll show you what we do. Thank you. So, with the micropigmentation that he's gonna get, he's gonna have the illusion of hair everywhere, especially if he keeps it this short or shaved. It's like five o'clock shadow. So we give that illusion that you have hair and you have five o'clock shadow instead of the look of a bicked head. The first thing we do is kind of devise the hairline. And he has a fairly flat forehead, so we can kind of take this around like something like this. And this is the most important part here, measuring because I don't care how good you are with your eye, everybody's one eye is more dominant than the other and will always throw off the symmetry a little bit. A little bit of light came here, here, and it's gonna numb up all of this for you. And the reason you want to do it, I think that the benefit of doing it in a medical office, because we can do this quick little nerve block, freeze your scalp, doesn't give you any swelling or anything like that, and it works really quickly. Yeah. This is a, Lida, this is a three, three needle, and we're using a kind of a dark gray to black pigment because his hair is once you shave everybody's hair off, I don't care even if you're gray, down to the follicle is going to be a blackish gray. So people will say, well, my hair is this color. When you get down to the follicle, everybody's follicle is pretty much the same color. So we create kind of a mosaic pattern. And you don't want to make a line because hair doesn't grow in a line. As we go, we wipe as we go, you know, to see what pigment stays because we don't go very deep. If we take turns going back and forth from side to side so nobody's hand gets tired and nobody gets fatigued. And you can see the hairline is actually really nicely done. This can be reversed with a laser. We can take all this ink out, 
that would hurt, but we can do it. You know, so it's not like you're crossing a bridge that you can't go back across. But the trick is when you cross the bridge, what do we say? You want to cross the right bridge. So we think this is the right bridge at our place. So thanks for joining in and we'll see you in two weeks because we'll follow up and show you what we do in two weeks. This is Dr. Yates, this is Lida. They were from Chicago. This is Vic, our most handsome model ever. <laughs> and we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. Hey, this is Dr. Yates. We're in Chicago with a follow-up visit with uh, one of my favorite patients. This is Vic. And what we've done with Vic is something that we do every day. And it's kind of common nowadays. It's called follicular micropigmentation. And what that means is we make the same pattern that somebody who has hair if they cut their hair short. So Lida's a micropigmentation specialist here at our practice. And she has created with Vic something that I will say is virtually unbelievable um, and it looks totally natural people who've seen Vic haven't said anything but man you look good let's go to the club so Lida show some pictures of what Vic looked like before so Lida shown you pictures of what Vic looked like before and Lida how many treatments does this usually take to go from what we call zero to 60 um, it will take three full sessions and you have to factor that uh, three to four hours per session. It's always good to go to the best where people know what they're doing. I mean you can always shop on price or you could come up with the reason my friend blah 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 but I'm telling you we do it the best here. So any parting words Lida or Vic? Yeah um, um, it, it has really boosted my confidence and I, I was always handsome but now that I got this it's just you know the ladies is everywhere. So. I got you. I you appreciate that. Couldn't have said it better.